Hi, my name is Winston Phillip, and we're going to be working on this V block clamp. It's problem 8.80. One thing I want to say about this part before I get started this part is missing the dimension, so it's about 95% completed. This, but it's an easy part to design, but with a missing dimension, it could become challenging. So, if you look over here, it gives us this radius of 0.44, but it doesn't tell us where along this line. Um, that's going to be a challenge for new beginners. For more experienced people, they're going to be able to figure out how that, how to solve for this part right here. That's the only disclosure I wanted to give for this part. But overall, this is still an easy part to design. So let's get into it. <laughs> And as it's slowed up, I'm going to be trying to figure out what plane I'm going to be designing on. So I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to be using the front plane. So now as I get to my front plane, I'm going to be splitting this part. Just imagine I'm going to be splitting this part right down the middle. So I'm only going to be designing half of this part. I'm going to come in here. I like to always start with a line down the middle for beginners. We're going to click right here. Construction line. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go come back to the circle, come right here, and just place a circle. See how it says R equals, that's the, it's saying it's a radius, right? So I'm going to click right here, go to Smart Dimension, click on this, pull this out. See how it gave me a diameter right here? I'm not really looking for a diameter. So how do you change a diameter in this situation, right? So it's giving me a diameter. But we want to change it. So you come over here to leader. You're going to go down to where it says radius. Click right here. So it says radius right here. This one is diameter. So you see radius. You click on this guy. You come back here. Double click on that. And we're going to put in our radius. Our radius is 0.82. Click OK. That's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this down right here. Click on this quadrant. Draw a straight line down. Come across. Out. I'm just sketching a profile of what I think it's going to be. So this one is comes someplace like right. I'm just going to pull this like right here. And I want an arc going this way. So if I pull the pencil out and bring it back to that same point. And I pull it upwards. Now I get an arc. I'm going to stop right here. Same process. I'm going to pull it out, bring it back, and I'm going to go this way. See? I'm going to go somewhere like right there. I'm going to bring this over to the center. And that's going to be it for me. All right? So currently I just made this quick shape, and I'm going to do a smart dimension. Click right here for the smart dimension, right? And it's giving me, and it's saying this radius for that one is 0.44, right? Say that one is 0.44, and this guy right here is 1.07. Enter. This from the top to the bottom, we're going to pull this out, it's 3, always go to the center of the circle, so if you need to get the edge of the circle, you hold shift, and you select the line, you pull it out, and you're going to tell it you need it to be a height of 0.625, you need to tell it the width from right here, from right here, so right here, it's 0.25. Let me tell it this right here. It's 0.5. Right here. Pull this one out. This is correct. And SolidWorks kind of automatically solved this one for you. Okay. Point. So this area right here is pretty right. 
I'm still in that command. Look right here. Pull that up a little bit. And all right, no, now we need to figure out the width for this part right here. Um, the reason why I chose this construction line is so I could figure out the width of this line right here. So I'm gonna trim this line so it's symmetric. And then I'm going to go to Smart Dimension and I'm gonna select this end point and I'm gonna go right here. See how it gives me the, the distance pretty much halfway but if I go on this opposite side and I click it gives me the overall distance of where I need to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the overall length and this is 0.625 press enter so you guys can see that All right, so that's how that's looking and one thing I wanted to do it's actually doing it on this this one for me it locked it in it's right here so what I was talking about the problem child was um, the way how you design it if you design it out of order this could screw up this part for you and I wanted to make sure that's a disclaimer because I've seen a lot of students design this part out of order um, I just happened to do it in the right order and it gave it to me basically the center of the arc is basically coincident with this line right here so it basically shares the same plane right you see how it goes straight across and it sits right there that's one thing you want to do that's the way to solve for this part so it's right um, so pretty much we have half of this part so we could just kind of go ahead mirror it and we're pretty much done so exit out of that select trim trim is my most go-to tool in this software we have that we can double check everything and I think that's it so now we're going to click OK we're going to go to mirror we're going to select this whole thing just swipe and we're going to go to mirror about click right here and click the, the construction line press OK and there we go All right it's just saying it's over dimension but that's okay um, all I just have to do is take off one of these dimension and it should go away and we just solve for that. It just said it says over the fine. You click on it, diagnose. It's gonna give you a solution. You just hit accept. It takes away one. Hit OK. Um, that's more of an in-depth lecture right there. I just click one to just clear it up, to so you guys see how it looks. Exit the sketch. So we created the sketch. Now we need to convert this to a 3D shape. We're gonna extrude this part. So now we're gonna click extrude so once we're in extrude the the width of this part is 0.5 press ok we have our part extruded now we just need to do this hole that's on the top we're going to go to feature hole wizard and this hole is there it's telling us this hole is here um it doesn't tell us the depth it just tells us the hole and I'm going to go a quarter. I'm going to assume this one. So um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to select hole. Just ask it to reset. I'm going to be going here. I'm going to tell it I want my hole to be 0.25. And it's asking me how far the end condition on this hole. I could tell it I want it blind, meaning at a certain distance and I'm going to go 0.25 as well and I'm going to click right here to position click right here to this edge. Bang, there we go so that's it this was pretty much how to create the V block clamp in SolidWorks for more video like this the ones over there and one's down there, right? And oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Familiar. You're familiar.